Hi everyone, it's Mike again with another electronic music project. Today I'm going to show you how to build a polyphonic slide guitar, as well as a general purpose slide pot which can be used for many other projects. And here it is. And this is what it sounds like. All the sounds are generated by a small, cheap 16F1825 PIC microcontroller. It can sound like a theremin or a tannerin, which was used in the Beach Boys song Good Vibrations, but it can play four notes at a time so is able to form chords. Anyway, more on this later. As usual, I'll put a link below to the schematic, PIC code and any other information that may be useful. It's actually two projects in one because I started out designing the PIC sound generator and was going to use a membrane potentiometer called a soft pot, but I needed a ribbon controller at least 30 to 40 centimeters long. And although the soft pot seemed to be ideal, they are rather expensive for my pocket as a retired pensioner. So I decided to do some research and thought someone must have already figured out an easy way to build one. I found all sorts of clever ideas on the internet using old VCR magnetic tape, LDRs and LEDs, pencil graphite, resistance wire, which I tried but this needed extra electronics and was too tricky to work with. So I started from scratch and came up with this, which works quite well and could be used for all sorts of projects like a MIDI ribbon controller, voltage control for a synth, etc. All it is is a whole lot of resistors in series on strip board. You can use any value resistor as long as you end up with the total resistance that you're looking for. In this case I used 100 ohm resistors giving a total value of around 17,000 ohms or 17k. This prototype uses half watt resistors which are a bit big. I used much smaller quarter watt resistors on the larger slider making them up on five pieces of strip board which were then hot glued to a strip of wood. Anyway, this was ideal to use as a voltage divider to feed into an analog input of a PIC micro, and there are no perceptible steps or gaps between notes as you slide up or down, which is great. I used some scrap bits of wood I had lying around to make the bass and control box for the slide guitar and a piece of 3mm plastic for the front panel. The controls consist of five buttons to select the notes of the chord, on-off switch, volume control and power LED. This button selects settings mode where you can change the decay, span and instrument sound. At the moment I only have two sounds which I'll show you later. This LED indicates when you are in settings mode and the settings are automatically saved to the PIC EEPROM so when you switch off and on again the PIC loads your last settings. Here's the main circuit board and wiring. It's fairly simple with not too many components. There's an audio out jack socket on the side which goes to a set of PC speakers and at the moment I have the unit powered by six AA batteries although it will run just fine on a PM3 9 volt battery as the current drawer is around 10 or 12 milliamps. Let me show you how it works. First you press down on the slider wire to select the note or cord you want. You can use your finger or a piece of plastic or metal pipe and at the same time you press one or more note selector buttons and you get this. This is a major chord, 7th chord, minor chord, and minor 7th. The span at the moment is one and a half octaves. But if you go into settings mode by pressing this button, you can use the note buttons to change the settings. 
Pressing this button changes the span and the beeps tell you which span is set. I could have used an LCD readout but decided to go for simplicity. It's on one and a half octaves so pressing once moves on to two octaves. Press again for three octaves and again to go back round to one octave and finally back to one and a half. I'll select three octave span and press the settings button again to go out of the settings which saves the new selection and see what it sounds like. The decay set with this button can be off, short or long. And finally you can select guitar or sine wave with this button. This is the circuit and it uses a PIC 16F1825 running on its internal oscillator at 32 MHz. The slider voltage is fed into an analog input here and the program reads the voltage and converts it into note frequencies. Then, depending on which note buttons are pressed here, samples are selected from a very small instrument wave file, added together and output on one of the PWM channels here. There is some basic filtering to get rid of the PWM high frequency component and you're left with the audio which goes to the volume control and finally to the output socket and on to an audio amplifier. The note buttons are also used in settings mode to select different decays, spans and instruments. This is an optional span pot which I haven't used and is linked out, but it can be used to manually adjust the span of the slider. The RC network here prevents noise at the audio output when the slider is not in contact with the stripboard track and is effectively open circuit. Well that's it. It wasn't too difficult to make and the results have been surprisingly good. This is only a prototype to see how well the idea worked and there's plenty of room for improvement, but I think on the whole it was quite successful. I have already started working on a MIDI version which would then be able to play really nice instrument sounds on commercial MIDI sound generators. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'd greatly appreciate any comments or questions below. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video. Well, see you soon with another electronic project.